Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Bash at the Beach. As we are live here in Long Beach, California. And what a show we have for you guys tonight. As we're ready to show out here like we always do here on the Best in the World 1989 YouTube channel. Let's go. And we're kicking things off here at Bash at the Beach as we're getting ready for a six-woman tag team action. As here comes Candice Wrestling herself, Candice Lorraine, making her way down to the ring as she's going to team up with Dakota Kai and Mia Yim in a six-woman action to kick off Bash at the Beach. As Mia Yim is now making her way down to the ring, Mia Yim showed up. She returned to ECW this past week and helped out Dakota Kai, revealing that she was the third woman to be part of Dakota's Kai team to take on the Riot Squad here tonight. And now, here comes Dakota Kai, the leader of Team Kick. Is making her way down to the ring. And we know Dakota Kai has history with the Riot Squad that started a few months ago when Dakota Kai faced Ruby Riot in a qualifying match for the women's money in the bank. And she was she lost that match after the interference of Shotzi Blackheart, a member of the Riot Squad who we haven't seen as of late. But the other members of the Riot Squad, Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan, attacked. Dakota Kai after she defeated Shotzi Blackheart in an Extreme Rules match. And ever since then, the whole Riot Squad has been trying to take out Dakota Kai. But we saw the returning Candice LeRae come back and help Dakota Kai. And then, also a couple days later, it being revealed that Mia Yim was the third one with, to help her in this match against the Riot Squad. And right now, there's an insiguri, running insiguri by Candice LeRae taking down Liv Morgan. And there's a right hand. And then she went for another one. Liv Morgan moves out of the way. Liv Morgan starting this match off kind of slow a little bit. But it should pick up as we go along. And they're tossed into the corner. And there's the tag. And in comes Dakota Kai. And here comes the double team. Tossing Liv Morgan up against the ropes. And a double hip toss. By Dakota Kai and Candice LeRae. Dakota Kai now with kicks to the chest. Some hard strikes. Taking down Liv Morgan. Dakota Kai has Liv Morgan up. But Liv Morgan reverses into a head scissors takedown. Beautifully done. Has her back up now. Russian leg sweep by Liv Morgan. And the Riot Squad. They're looking... To get back on track. And that's a huge layer drop. As they haven't really been dominating ECW like they thought they would. And there's the tag. And here comes Sarah Logan. The powerhouse of the Riot Squad. Sarah Logan now. Look at this. Bulldog. To Dakota Kai. Now Sarah Logan. There's the tag. Here comes the leader of the Riot Squad. Ruby Riot, Who we saw. In that brawl with Dakota Kai this past week. And there's a running Herakarana face plant. To Dakota Kai. But Dakota Kai now reverses with an arm drag. And there's a kick. And there's another kick. And a third kick to the shoulder of Ruby Wright. And there's another one. Dakota Kai drags Ruby Wright away from the rose. And there's the double stop. And what a huge night we have here tonight, live at Bash at the Beach. And there's a big strike by Dakota Kai to the side of the head of Ruby Wright. We have the ECW Championship being defended in a false count anywhere between the Viper, Randy Orton, and John Moxley. And there's the tag to Mia Yim, full speed ahead. Mia Yim with a big kick to the face. Of Ruby Riot. Now Mia Yim with the hard right hand strikes to Riot. And there's another one. As it looks like Mia Yim is trying to bring the streets to this match. There's another right hand. But reversed 
with a right hand of her own and a flying forearm by Riot. And there's the tag. In comes Sarah Logan once again. As she goes, there's the bridge. Slam. To Mia Yim. And now there's a cold breaker to Mia Yim. And now Sarah Logan. Look at this. Kicks to the ribs. And now kicks Mia Yim face first into the mat. Picks Mia Yim up. And there's a shot to the ribs. By Sarah Logan in that head, but stunning Mia Yim. And look at this. Picks her up and plants her down. As Mia Yim looking to try to make the tag, but quickly cut off by Sarah Logan, who is slamming Mia Yim's head up against the mat. Now going for the cut of Mia Yim reverses into a running hair because runner. Nope. There's the dump by Mia Yim into a form. There's the knee. Now kick to the back of the head. We also have Adam Cole Bay Bay defending the WCW Heavyweight Championship in our main event tonight against the Icon Sting. And oh, there's a running kick to the face by Mia Yim, stunning Sarah Logan, who goes face first into the mat as she's down and out. Mia Yim has her up, tosses her into a corner. There's the tag, and in comes Candice Wrestling. Full speed snap there, and then Mia Yim with a kick to the back of the neck. As the Riot Squad is asking for a tag, but no, Candice LeRae cuts Sarah Logan off. Went for a roll-up, but Sarah Logan with a knee to the face of Candice. Now Sarah Logan with these left shots to the face, and a stomp now to the chest. Great reversal by Candace. Has Sarah Logan up going for a suplex. No nope, reversal by Sarah Logan into a clothesline to the back of the head. Also tonight, we have Oscar, the leader of the Black Lotus, will defend the WCW. And there's the harsh strikes by Sarah Logan. The WCW Women's Championship against the number one contender, Bailey. And another match we have later tonight is another big six man tag, as it will be the LWO, Andrade Cien, Sin Cara, and Rey Mysterio taking on the OC, AJ Styles, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson. And there's a standing Hurricane Run. Sarah Logan trying to get back up to her feet. Candice LeRae now with a kick to the leg. And there's a kick to the face. Knocking Sarah Logan outside the ring. Full speed ahead. Here comes Candice LeRae. Slide through the ropes to her and Karate on the outside. Candice LeRae back inside the ring. And here comes Sarah Logan as she gets back up. Comes back in, but there's the right hand. By Candice LeRae taking out Sarah Logan. Candice LeRae going up top, but she changes her mind. And there's the tag. Here comes Lil Morgan. But there's the tag. And here comes Mia Yim. Mia Yim's back in running her and running to Lil Morgan. Mia Yim now. Look at this. Mia Yim has the arm lock locked in on Lil Morgan. But Lil Morgan with a couple of right hands to the rim. So Mia Yim. And there's the clothesline, taking down Mia Yim, almost knocking her head off. Lil Morgan was attacked by Mia Yim backstage on ECW, laid out. And there's the, look at this, this headlock submission hole locked in. The referee was accidentally knocked down when Candace broke up the count. And Lil Morgan, full speed ahead, look at this, the face plant by Lil Morgan. She goes for the cover. The referee's back up. One, two, that's it. Candice LeRae breaks up the three count. Bill Young now jawbreaker to Lil Morgan. And now a drop kick. Lil Morgan kips up. But Bill Young drop toe holes, takes her right back down before she can get started. 
And there's the tag, and here comes Dakota Kai once again. Dakota Kai now went for a shot. Love Morgan ducks, kicks Dakota Kai into the corner, jerks him by our foot, sit down, power bomb out of the corner. And now there's a stump to the knee. Going for a cutter. Love Morgan, nope, reverse, and there's a kick to the face. There's another kick to the face. And here comes the third scorpion kick to the face now of Liv Morgan taking her down. Dakota Kai. Wait, Liv Morgan with a right hand. Tosses Dakota Kai into the corner. Liv Morgan, nope, reversal by Kai. But there's the elbow to the face. Liv Morgan now snap there. Kick to the back of the spine. But wait a minute. Dakota Kai ate that. That's a running drop kick. Lil Morgan, dazed and confused. Nope, reversal by Lil Morgan. Tosses Dakota Kai into the corner. And now tosses Dakota Kai into the Riot Squad's corner where she doesn't want to be at. But Dakota reverses into a flying form in the corner. And now the double stop to Lil Morgan. Has Lil Morgan up. Lil Morgan with a spinning kick to the face, just knocking out Dakota Kai, who's now getting back up to her feet. And there's a, another kick, but no riot blocks it into a power bomb. Now Ruby right now, a super kick, a shot to the back of the neck, and now look at the power of Ruby carrying Dakota across the ring. Oh, Snake Eyes into the corner. And there's the kick to the face. And there's the running drop kick. Dakota Kai's in trouble. She needs to make the tag. And there's the tag. Sarah Logan's back in the ring. Dakota Kai is like she's trying to crawl to the ropes. She's stunned after those shots by Riot. And now Sarah Logan tosses Dakota Kai into the corner. Went for a right hand. Dakota Kai reverses. Dakota Kai flying forward. But it looks like she didn't get all of that. But she got that knee. Taking down Sarah Logan. Going up to the top rope now. Dakota Kai's got a fly big frog splash. One. Two. No. Sarah Logan kicks out. Now Dakota tosses Sarah Logan into the corner. Dakota with a shot now. Then it's going to the middle rope. Sunset flip. One, two, no. Dakota Kai now has Sarah Logan up. Dakota Kai tosses Sarah Logan over the ropes. Sarah Logan lands on the apron. Dakota Kai tosses her back inside the ring, and there's the tag. In comes. Candice LeRae and there's a chop by Candice LeRae but no a dragon screw takedown by Sarah Logan and the crowd is just going wild now and Sarah Logan went for a chop by block and now Sarah Logan a knee to the face of Candice and there's the tag in comes Ruby Riot. and there's a super kick to the face of Candace right now. Shot to the back of the head. Now another shot to the back. No. Candace right back up. No. Face plants are right into the turnbuckle. Glory bomb right into the turnbuckle. And there's a drop kick. Candace LeRae is down and out. Ruby Ryan's choking away on Candace. Candace can have a concussion after the way she landed. Ruby Wright roll up into a kick to the side of the head. Candice LeRae down and out. Ruby now tosses her into the corner of the Riot Squad again. And now look at this. Wood went for right here. No, Candice shoves her off. Candice running her corona. Take it down. Ruby Riot drags Ruby Riot out of the corner. And we're at Springboard. Moonsaw. That's it. 
One, two, no, Ryan kicks out. There's the tag. In comes Dakota Kai. Kai now has Ruby. Up. There's the kick. Full speed. The, oh, she delivers her finisher. That's it. One. Two is over, people. No, Ruby kicks out again. How is Ryan kicking out of these finishers? It's like she isn't trying to stay down. And now it's the tag. And here comes Mia Yim. Now, is Mia Yim going to try to deliver her finisher? And there's kicks to the face of Ryan. Yim going up to the top rope. What is Mia Yim going to do? Flying elbow drop. There's the cover. One, two, no. Ryan kicks out. Mia Yim has her up now. Yim, no, reversal by Ryan. Tosses Yim into the corner. Well, shoving her into the corner. Has Yim up to the top rope. And there's the huge chop. As these women have been going to war. And there's a right here now. By Riot. Riot now look like she's going for a super suplex off the top rope. No, there she is. And both women are down. They're getting into their corner. It looks like they're going to make a tag. And Dakota Kai's back in. She hits her finisher again on Ruby out of nowhere. One, two, three. As Team Kai picks up the win. As Mia Yim, Candice LeRae, and Dakota Kai celebrated in the ring. And what a match to kick off Bash at the beach here tonight. As Dakota finally gets her revenge on the Riot Squad. And look out! There's Nikki Bella. She was walking backstage and now she's been attacked by Io Shirai and Kyrie saying we know the Bellas are supposed to take on Io and Kyrie along with Fire and Desire. As you hear the announcement, we're getting ready for an Intercontinental Championship match, the ECW Intercontinental Championship, as here comes the King of Bros, the original bro, Matt Riddle, as you saw moments ago. Nikki Bella was attacked backstage by Io Shirai and Kyrie Sane of the Black Lotus, but right now Matt Riddle is making his way down to the ring. And Riddle has been on a winning streak here on Universe Mode. But yeah, he, he hasn't really had any opportunities at a single championship gold. And tonight he has that opportunity because he defeated Sami Zayn this past week on ECW to earn this number one contender's opportunity. As he's about to step in the ring with the IC champion himself. Ricochet. And we know Ricochet and Matt Riddle have all due respect for one another. But this is going to be a battle. As here comes Mr. One and Only. The man who says superheroes do exist. The IC champ. Ricochet. Looking ready and focused. As he should. As you can see the yellow Intercontinental Championship. Around the waist of Ricochet. Matching his ring attire here tonight. And Ricochet says as Intercontinental Champion. He's always looking for a challenge. He's ready to see what Matt Riddle brings to the table. And we saw at the end of the Sami Zayn Riddle match, Ricochet came out to confront Riddle, had a face off, letting him know that this isn't going to be an easy competition here tonight. He's going to have to give it everything he got, everything he has, to defeat him here tonight. And here's the introduction right now. As Riddle is warming up. And there's 
the look on the face of the IC champion Ricochet he's been ECW Intercontinental Champion slash TV Champion for a while now no one has to, nobody has really been able to take the gold off of Ricochet and Matt Riddle is looking to do that right here right now and this one should be a good fight as the referee showing both men both men the championship he raises it up high Riddle Ricochet referee rings the bell and here we go match is underway both guys looking at each other no Riddle picks up Ricochet Ricochet slides down the back of Riddle Flips him over. Head scissors. Couple shots to the head. Ricochet now has Riddle. That's a huge chop in the right hand. A shot to the midsection now. Tosses him over the ropes. Grabs him. There's a shot. Springboard. DDT on the apron. Do you see how Riddle's head was folded right there? As Ricochet isn't wasting any time. But Riddle tosses Ricochet into the steel guard rail. And now there's a spear takedown. Taking down Ricochet on the floor. And Riddle now with a stump to the back of the neck. Now look at this. Belly to belly suplex on the floor as the referee continuing to count. Riddle cannot win the championship by count out. And they toss him into the steel steps. And now tosses him back inside the ring. Riddle now with a kick to the face. A slap. Now has Ricochet up on his shoulders. Snake eyes in the corner. Rick, Riddle now with a big slap across the face of Ricochet. Ricochet is going to have to try to avoid them strikes of Riddle. And there's the jawbreaker. By Ricochet and a super kick. Taking Riddle off his feet. Standing. Shooting star press. By Ricochet. Going for the cover. Riddle reverses into a takedown. And there's a couple right hands. As Ricochet trying to block. Riddle now. Oh, uppercut stunning. Into a head scissors takedown. A stunning uppercut. By Ricochet. On to Riddle. And there's a stop now. And oh, wait a minute. Is he going for the people's elbow? The ricochet elbow to spin into the standing moonsault. Goes for the cover. One. Only a one count is Riddle. Kicks out. Ricochet now went for a strike. But Riddle with the elbow now takes Ricochet down again with a couple of shots. Wait. Look at this. Look at Riddle. Picks him up. Fisherman suplex. Ricochet felt all of that. And now Riddle with a kick to the back. As him up. Went for a side kick. No, Ricochet moves. Ricochet with a couple strikes. Grounded Riddle. Look at this. Ricochet now. Snaps. Oh, a suplex into a sit down power bomb. Riddle using the ropes to pull himself back up. Here comes Ricochet. Ricochet now tosses Riddle to the outside of the ring. Ricochet has that look in his eye. Full speed ahead. Here comes Ricochet. Suicide dive through the ropes. Pushing Riddle up against the steel barricade. Now Ricochet tosses Riddle back in the Riddle reverses. Tosses Ricochet back inside the ring and there's a kick to the side of the head. And now the head scissors forearm strikes now by Riddle. Now has Ricochet up. There's a shot by Riddle. Gut Rich. Suplex by Riddle. Wait, he's still holding on. Here comes another one. There's another one. 
has them up. Wait a minute, has them up. There's the go to sleep bro into the German. Oh, one count. As Ricochet was able to kick out, and I don't know how he did that. Wait a minute. Knee to the ribs. This suplex. Suplex to Riddle. Riddle rolls to the outside. Wait. Riddle back inside. Ricochet. Go for another suplex. There it is. Ricochet now going up to the top rope. He's looking to fly. Phoenix splash. Oh, Riddle got the knees up. Riddle now knee to the face of Ricochet. And Riddle is filling it down. As he is firing up. That knee to the side of here. Ricochet stunned him. And now Riddle. Lead a ricochet up against the ropes. Look at this. Springboard. Kick to the side of the arm. Has him up. Ricochet reverses. Ricochet now. Look at this. Look at the move. Plant some face first. Ricochet now. Jumps over the ropes. Springboard. Frog splash. To the back. Of Riddle. There's a shot. There's the recoil. That's it. One. Two. No. I think Riddle got his shoulder up. He barely got it up. There's a shot to the midsection. And now a European uppercut. We're going to say now going over the ropes. Telling Riddle to get up. Riddle's in trouble now. Supreme board, uppercut, no, Riddle moves out of the way. Ricochet went down, but there's a knee by Ricochet. A kick to the midsection by Riddle. Riddle with the V trigger to the face. And now that's a kick to the ribs. Another stump now. Riddle, another kick to the ribs. Another stump on the arm. Riddle right now, look at this. In transition, rolls him up into the arm bar. Ricochet's in trouble. The arm bar locked in. Ricochet fights out. Ricochet now. DDT. Has Riddle up. Shot to the midsection. No Riddle. Fighting back with the elbows to the ribs. A running kick to the face. Down goes Ricochet. Riddle now. Catching on. Spinning. Tombstone pile driver. That has to be it. One. Two Ricochet's out. Of Ricochet kicks out. And the crowd goes crazy. I don't know how Ricochet was able to kick out of that spinning tombstone. And now there's a knee to the ribs of Riddle. Recoil again. That's an instant replay. As he caught Riddle again. Wait a minute, Ricochet going up top rope. Looks like he's going for that Phoenix splash again. He nails it that time. One, two. Riddle kicks out at the last second. And Ricochet is telling the ref that was three. And the referee says, no, it was not. Sidestep kick to the ribs by Riddle running knee to the face. Riddle full speed ahead. Floating bro. The bro ton. Went for a kick. No, blocked by Ricochet. Tosses Riddle to the outside. Ricochet full speed. He flips over the ropes and he lands on his feet. But these guys have been going to war right now for the 
ECW Intercontinental Championship. Toss back in the ring by Riddle. Has a look. Riddle, look at this. Alabama slam. Went for a kick. No, Ricochet catches him. Face plants him. Ricochet going up to the top rope. 640, no. Riddle moved out of the way. There's a kick to the head. That's the elbows. And oh no, he got the submission, the pro mission in. The pro mission. He has it locked. Ricochet's in trouble. Ricochet is starting to fade. Wait a minute, Ricochet with the last effort fights out of it. Let me catch a scoop slap. To Matt Riddle and these two guys are just giving it everything they got right now. Ricochet going for another scoop slam. No reverse by Riddle. Riddle was going for a belly to belly. No. Elbows to the side of the head. There's the super kick. And then Ricochet springboard. 450 splash. Is that it? One. Two, three, he defeats Matt Riddle and retains the ECW Intercontinental Championship. And what a battle. There's the recoil earlier in the match. That was beautifully done. There's that spinning tombstone that we thought ended the match. But in the end, Ricochet still walks out as the Intercontinental Champion. But well, you got to give credit to Matt Riddle for putting up a fight. And we're getting ready for the women's tag team titles as here it comes. Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville from Absolution, aka Fire and Desire, as they're making their way down to the ring. We know this match is supposed to be a triple threat women's tag team match with Fire and Desire, with the Black Lotus and with the Bellas but the Bellas are unable to compete now from what we're hearing after Nikki Bella was assaulted earlier by these two people Kyrie Sane and Io Shirai the women's tag team champion of the Black Lotus they assaulted Nikki Bella, Bella earlier tonight so now this match is no longer going to be a women's triple threat tag team title match. It's now going to be a regular tag team title match. As the Black Lotus is making their way down to the ring. They're making sure that the spotlight is only on them. Dressed in all black like always. As they are looking to take care of Absolution. Because remember Absolution was added to this match after the Black Lotus assaulted them two weeks ago. And here we go. The match is underway. And oh, Kyrie saying quickly with a double axe handle to the face of Mandy Rose. And there's a right hand by Kyrie saying the Pirate Princess. And there's a couple more shots. Mandy Rose now shoving Kyrie off, catches her loop ass press. And there's the right hands by Mandy Rose. And there's a hard right hand taking down Kyrie Say, Knocking her off her feet. And Mandy Rose with a shot to the back. With Kyrie with an elbow to the face. But a takedown by Mandy Rose. Late reversal by Kyrie Say. Into a hip toss. Picks her up now. Throws her up against the ropes again. And a second hip toss. By the pirate princess. And you can just see the change. In attitude of Kyrie Sane. Now she tosses. Mandy Rose into the corner. There's the tag. 
In comes the genius of the sky, Io Shirai. There's the trip and the elbow to the back. Io now has Mandy up, and there's a kick to the knee and a kick to the side of the head. And down goes Mandy Rose. And Io quickly goes for the cover of the referee. One. Oh, only a one count as Mandy Rose kicks out. Eo now. Dragon screw takedown to Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose trying to pull herself up in the corner. Here comes Eo full speed and there's an elbow to the face. And now running knee to the face. As the genius of the sky is Tony. She should be watching Mandy Rose who tags in. Here comes Sonya Deville. But EO cuts off Sonya Deville with a right hand. But Deville now shoves off EO Shirai. And now take down to EO. Deville slamming EO's arm against the mat. Throws it down again. Now a stump to the arm. Now a stump to the other arm in the back. Sonya now, look at this. With the power of Sonya to fill. Big spine buster take down to Io Shirai. Io catches her with an insiguri. Now has the fill up and that's his drop kick. And a stump to the leg. Now it has up with DeVille with a jawbreaker. DeVille trips Io Shirai. Now DeVille, wait a minute, locking in a triangle choke. She has it locked in out of nowhere on Io Shirai. Io, is she going to tap? Io is telling the ref she doesn't want to tap. Io, now look at this, look at the power of Shirai. Being able to fight her way out of it. And now EO going for a scoop slam. No. Inverted DDT by Sonya Deville. Sonya now goes for the cover. One, two, and the kick out. Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville aren't the only two members of Absolution in action tonight. Because we know Paige is going to defend the ECW Women's Championship. Later tonight, against the returning A.J. Lee. Tossed into the corner. DeVille with a shot to EO. Another shot by DeVille. And a couple of knees now to the genius of the sky. EO shoves her off. EO now, look at this. Head scissors take down to Sonya DeVille. And now EO stomping on the chest. Look at this. Look at the headstand. Double knees. EO goes for the cover. Ref. Not even in position. I say DeVille quickly kicks out. EO Shirai tosses DeVille into the corner. Going for a tag. No. DeVille puts the foot up. But EO with an elbow and a right hand. There's the tag. In comes the Pirate Princess. Once again, Kyrie Sane. Look at this. The double team drop kick. By Kyrie and Io Shirai. And now Kyrie a double stump. To the ribs. Of Sonya Deville. And now Kyrie Sane has her up. And there's a suplex. By the Pirate Princess. Goes for the cover. One, only a one counts. Deville powers out quickly. Cause it's like there's gonna, the Black Leather's gonna have to do more than that to take down Deville here tonight. Deville tosses Kyrie Sand into the corner. Now Deville has Sane up on the top rope. Look at this. Look at DeVille, what's she going to do? A sidewalk slam off the top rope. To Kyrie saying, now Kyrie is crawling. She is trying to make the tag, but was cut off 
The veal trips. Kyrie saved. And now Mandy Rose is back in the ring. Rose with a stump to the back and now a knee to the back. Has her up. There's a hard right hand by Mandy Rose. Taking down Shirai. EO now. Well, not Shirai. My bad, ladies and gentlemen. Kyrie saying it. Mandy went for a clothesline. Same way that he was chopping the kick to the leg. Drops her down. Mandy. No, 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 no. Mandy Rose flies neck first into the ropes. Same going up top for the top rope. She is telling Mandy Rose to get up. Looks like Sane's going to fly here. Flying forearm. No, Mandy Rose sidesteps. Rose now. Look at this. Oh, slams him down. Face first. And that's it. Look at the cover. One. Oh, only a one count. That Sane gets the shoulder up. Mandy could have probably had the match if she put on a full cover. And there's an elbow to the leg. And now a double sledge again taking down Mandy Rose. Now Kyrie's saying it's tunny to the crowd. She needs to stay on Mandy Rose. And there's a stump to the leg of Mandy Rose. Now she has Mandy up. Mandy reversed this. Snap there to Kyrie saying that's a kick to the back. Now a stump. Now a knee to the back of Sane. Now she has Kyrie up. Kyrie reverses Mandy Rose. Drops her down. Kyrie full speed ahead, intercept their spear. Now, Sane has Mandy Rose up. Sane with a standing drop kick. Drags Mandy away from the ropes. There's a stump to the chest. And look at this. The anchor submission hole locked in by Kyrie. But Kyrie breaks the hold. As she just wants, it looks like she just wants to deliver a little bit of pressure. Now it goes for the cover. Ref, pay attention. One. And only a one count. As the ref was too busy worrying about DeVille. And there's a tag by Kyrie saying, and in comes E.L. Shirai once again. Shirai with a stump to the arm of Mandy Rose. EO with a running drop kick. Now she's going after DeVille. She knocks DeVille off the apron. Going to the top rope. Mandy Rose is down and out. EO delivers the moonsault. There it is from a different angle. The beauty of that moonsault. But I'm not sure if she got all of it. It looked like she got all of it. But I'm not sure. I don't think she did. As EO picks up Mandy Rose. Dragon screw. Going back up to the top rope. Moonstop double stump. By EO. You know, going over the top rope. Telling Mandy to get up. Mandy now dazed. She is trying to stand up. Springboard drop kick to the back of the head. Beautifully by EO Shirai. One. Two. That's it. No, Mandy Rose kicks out. 
As we know, the Bellas cannot be happy after being attacked earlier and now unable to compete in this match. Well, it looked like, like we said, the Black Lotus did not want to face two teams here tonight. And that's the takedown by Mandy Rose. Rose stumped to the chest of EO. And now look at this. Got her legs wrapped around EO's head. And oh, plants her head first into the mat. Has her up. But it plants her down face first. Now Mandy drags EO from the ropes. This is it one, two. Kyrie Sane broke it up. There's a tag. The field's back in. The field going right after EO. Lost in a triangle choke again. Is Shirai going to tap? No. This time it was broken up by Kyrie Sane when EO was about to tap. And now Sonya went for the running kick. No, EO reverses into a driver suplex with a bridge. One. Only a one counts. DeVille kicks out. And what a women's match. Tag match has. Absolution is trying to show their toughness. They're not giving up easy as EO now. Wait, Irish Rip. Reversal. Drops down by DeVille. Wait, EO catches her. Takes her down. And now EO tags in Kyrie saying once again. Kyrie's back in the ring. DeVille's down and out. Kyrie saying going to the top rope. Telling DeVille to get up. And that's what DeVille's doing. DeVille's getting up. Kyrie now off the top rope. Cross body. One. A one. A two. No. Broken up by Mandy Rose. And now Kyrie going after the leg of the field and snaps it back. Yo, Shirai and Kyrie Sand have been the tag team, women's tag team champions for a while for a reason. And there's the shoulder tackle in the corner. Now has her up. The field went for the slide. And there she is. She trips Kyrie Sand. Kyrie's down. There's the tag. Mandy Rose back inside the ring. Going after Kyrie, who was taken down by Sane Block's elbow to the knee of Mandy Rose. But Mandy tosses Kyrie into the corner, but Kyrie with an elbow to the face of Mandy. But Mandy has EO by the hair, tosses her face first into the corner. She does it again for a second time. Wait. Kyrie's fighting out of it. He's fighting back. Kyrie with a shot to the back. And now a a shot to the midsection. I don't know. Looks like she's about to walk the plank. Full speed ahead to Mandy Rose. Kyrie now going up to the top rope. Could she deliver it? There it is. Here it comes. The insane elbow to the heart of Mandy Rose. One, two, three. Say the bill was late. The Black Lotus, EO Shirai, and Kyrie saying pick up the win here tonight. They are still the women's tag team champions after defeating Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville, which was supposed to be a triple threat match, but they took out the Bellas earlier tonight.
We're getting ready for our cruiserweight title match now. Fatal four way as here comes Mustafa Ali making his way down to the ring. As you see, Pete Dunn is already in the ring. Well, he's already out here as Ali is looking to lead Bash at the Beach here tonight as the new cruiserweight champion. Remember, the former cruiserweight champion, Leo Rush, was injured over last weekend at a live event and was unable to compete here tonight. So, General Manager Shane McMahon has made a fatal four-way. And here comes Mark Andrews, another guy who's looking to leave here tonight as your new Cruiserweight Champion. He's new to this universe mode. He was just brought in a few days ago as he took on Pete Dunn this past week on Nitro. It was a great match, but in the end, Mark Andrews came up short, but he's looking to pick up the W here tonight. This would mean a lot for a blue chipper like him coming into the Universe mode and becoming the Cruiserweight Champion off the bat. And speaking of Cruiserweight Champion, here comes a former Cruiserweight Champion of our Universe mode, Cedric Alexander. The man who lost the Cruiserweight Championship to Leo Rush back a few months ago at WrestleMania in Atlanta is looking to reclaim the title he once had. But he's going to have to defeat these other three competitors here tonight. And now the match is underway. Pete Dunn quickly with a big boot. Taking out Mark Andrews. As you see, Cedric Alexander quickly going after Mustafa Ali. Look at Pete Dunn with the German suplex. Taking out Mark Andrews. As on the other side of the ring, Cedric Alexander tosses Mustafa Ali outside the ring. Does the reverse Irish rip into the corner by Mark Andrews. And there's the big running knee to the face of Pete Dunn. And now Mustafa Ali with a beautiful standing drop kick to Cedric Alexander. And oh, Mark Andrews takes down Pete Dunn in the corner. And there's that instant fury by Mustafa Ali. All four of these men are looking to position themselves as the new champ. And wait a minute, look at Ali with a sit down power bomb to Cedric Alexander. As Alexander's in trouble, so is Mark Andrews after that close line to the back of the head by Pete Dunn. And now Pete Dunn's going after Cedric Alexander, tossing Cedric down. And now there's a right hand to Mustafa Ali, who's on the apron. No, no, no! DDT folding Mustafa Ali, who rolls to the outside. And now he's out of it. Now Mark Andrews and Cedric Alexander are trading shots here. And Cedric Alexander just tossed to the outside of the ring. There's Pete Dunn went for a close line, but reversed by Mark Andrews into a running bulldog, taking down Pete Dunn. P. Dunn rolls to the outside of the ring now. Cedric Alexander is back inside the ring. After Mark Andrews, and look at that beautiful missile drop kick by Ali to P. Dunn on the outside. And there's the Hurricanrana on the floor back inside the ring. A running net breaker by Cedric Alexander to Mark Andrews, who picks him up now. Wait a minute, into a stunner. A suplex into a stunner. Taking out Alexander in the ring and a standing shooting star press. And a went for a drop kick. Alexander moves out of the way. Alexander now flips him over. Went for a kick. Mark Andrews moves. Wait a minute. Pete Dunn catches Alexander looking for a tornado DDT. But that was a jumping DDT by Mark Andrews to Cedric Alexander and over there in the corner. Pete Dunn and Mustafa Ali continuing. And Cedric Alexander delivered a flying 4-1 to Mark Andrews, but that took a lot out of Cedric, who also goes down. And Ali is just continuing to hammer away on Pete Dunn in the corner. And now Pete Dunn and Mark Andrews are left in the ring. Oh, well, Pete Dunn's on the outside of the ring. Mark Andrews went for a kick, but tripped by Mustafa Ali. Ali now kicked to the face. Mark Andrews Mark Andrews shoves Mustafa Ali off of him tosses Ali over the ropes to the outside Alexander with a sh shot to the back but got caught with an elbow into a bulldog by Mark Andrews and now Pete Dunn 
Going right after Mark Andrews. Double alarm hook into a suplex into the corner. My Pete Dunn just folded Mark Andrews. And now Pete Dunn has the hand of Cedric Alexander. He's stumbling away on Alexander, and that's a boot to the face. Now he's looking to snap his fingers. No. Don't do it. And wait a minute, look at this. Springboard. Did he tee on the apron? Pete Dunn now has Alexander up. And oh, what a huge close line by Mustafa Ali to Mark Andrews on the floor. And now Cedric Alexander has Pete Dunn in the corner. And there's a kick and another kick. And now look at this Cedric Alexander. Springboard. Drop kick in the corner. Now tosses. Mark Andrews tosses Mustafa Ali back inside the ring. Wait a minute, there's a backbreaker. And there's a Pele kick. And so much action in this match. It's hard to call it. As Alexander falls to the outside of the ring. And now Mark Andrews looking to go after Pete Dunn. And there's a Pele kick to Pete Dunn now. And now, wait a minute, there's a shot by Mustafa Ali. Troops over. Kick to the back of the neck of Mark Andrews. Now has him up. Wait a minute. No, no. Ali with a sit down power by what? Two. No, Pete Dunn breaks it up. And now Pete Dunn going for another bat breaker to Mustafa Ali. And now Cedric Gazzana continuing the strikes on Mark Andrews in the corner. Wait a minute. Pete Dunn behind Cedric Alexander. Back suplex. Now he turns his attention to Ali. Looks like he's trying to close Ali outside the ring. And there it is. But Ali gets back up. No sales. I mean, he catches him. Snap suplex. He felt that one. And there's the right hand by Alexander. Wait a minute. No bar check. He nails it. We're going to have a new Christmas. Jimmy, no. Stop insecurity. By Mark Andrews taking down Cedric Gazzan before he can go for the cover. And the last one, two Ali's going to be the new Cruiserweight champion. And now Mark Andrews breaks it up at the last second. That's a run in security by Cedric Gazzan to take it out. Mark Andrews. Ali going up to the top rope looking to deliver his finisher. P. Dunn got the knees up. Now look at this. Snap suplex by P. Dunn. And now Alexander got hit with a running in Seguri by Pete Dunn. Now the Bruce Ray right hand. Wait a minute, no. Bitter end. He delivers it. On oh, Central Guys, that's it. One. Ah, oh, Mustafa Ali quickly breaks up the count. And wait a minute, a snap German suplex by Ali into a drop kick. And now Alexander going after Mark Andrews, but Mark Andrews takes down Alexander. P. Dunn down on the outside. Mustafa Ali with a snap. German, but breaking, broken up by Mark Andrews. These guys are just going back and forth. Wait, Mark Andrews tosses Ali into the corner. Ali dazed and confused. Andrews with a slap to the chest. Into a springboard drop kick. Now Pete Dunn stunned. There's a European uppercut by Alexander. Now I've run an insecurity again. All these insecurities back and forth. And that's a super kick. By Ali. To Mark Andrews and Cedric Alexander going after Pete Dunn on the outside. And all four men are just fighting here at ringside now. Pete Dunn tosses Alexander back inside the ring. But Alexander catches him with a huge clothesline. Wait, kips up into a hurricane runner. Running at security. Ali's down and out. 
Alexander now. Look at this. Going for Mickey Noku. Driver. Reverse. Catches him. DDT. No sell by Alexander. But into a forearm. Taking Alexander out. Wait a minute. Mark Andrews punched in the face. Look at that. German suplex. Mark Andrews down and out. Set it out. Got hit again. No, 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 no. Not another one. Bitter end. Pete Dunn. One, two, three. Pete Dunn is the new cruiserweight champion. After delivering a second bitter end to Cedric Alexander. There's the reversal. After Ali tried to hit the reverse 450. Here's just a, a couple of highlights of the match. But this bitter end right here was the icing on the cake. And now we have a new cruiserweight champion. And it is the bruiserweight Pete Dunn. And what a match by Pete Dunn and these other three competitors for the vacated cruiserweight championship. We are now getting ready for the WCW Tag Team title defense as here comes Tyler Breeze representing Breeze Zane Go and there's his tag team partner Fadongo and these guys are looking to capture the WCW Tag Team Championships I mean this these guys right here have gotten the opportunity to get a title shot. I mean, these guys, they they weren't really utilized last season on universe mode. But at the end of last season, we saw these guys take on Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly in a non-title match and defeat them. Causing the upset that shocked the Undisputed Era. And then a couple nights ago, this past Monday on Nitro, Breezango was attacked backstage by Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly trying to send them a message. They weren't happy for being embarrassed by this team. And now this team has a title opportunity right here, right now. Can history repeat this? repeat itself can they do it again here tonight can they defeat the undisputed era but this time with the titles on the line and here they come bobby fish kyle o'reilly then accompanied by roderick strong as these guys are looking to beat the mess out of fandango and tyler breeze here tonight they want to hurt these guys. They want to embarrass these guys. Just like they were embarrassed a few weeks ago. And with Roger Strong in their corner, this may not be easy for Breezango. They're going to have their hands full. And we know the leader of the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, Bay Bay, will be in the main event tonight against the Icon Steam. And he will defend his WCW world heavyweight championship so the undisputed era is looking for a clean clean sweep here tonight but in order to do that they must take out Breezango Can they do it? We're about to find out. As you see the challengers, Breezango ready. And you see the championships shining bright around the shoulders of Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Now we're about to find out who will be leaving. 
Bash at the Beach here tonight. WCW Tag Team Champions. Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly hyping each other up. And here we go. That's Kyle O'Reilly going right after the orange. Quickly on Tyler Breeze into a back suplex by Kyle O'Reilly. Riley now with the strikes. Stunning Tyler Breeze. And Breeze now with a right hand. Breeze now brings O'Reilly down into an arm bar. O'Reilly is struggling. He rolls out of it, catches a twist. Takes him down. What a nice counter by O'Reilly. Riley with a right hand. Has Breeze up. Slamming Tyler Breeze into the ropes. The Undisputed Era made their debut on Nitro this year and have been dominated. They have captured the Tag Team Championships. They have captured the World Heavyweight Championship. And oh, what a beautiful... Suplex brought back inside the ring by Kyle O'Reilly to Tyler Breeze. Breeze with a reversal now tosses him into the corner. Now tosses him into his corner. Full speed ahead. And now he tosses Kyle O'Reilly back into his corner. Now it looks like he's going to do it again. No, into a elbow by Tyler Breeze. Breeze going for the cut of reversal. And O'Reilly with a kick to the side of the head. What a strike. Now O'Reilly snaps suplex. Goes for the cover. One. Only a one count. And oh, what a kick to the head by Tyler Breeze. The Kyle O'Reilly rolls to the outside after that shot kind of stunned him. And Breeze on the outside of the ring. And there's a... Look like a flying forearm taking down O'Reilly. And a stomp now. And there's a right hand. Another right hand. A third one. And an elbow to the head. And now O'Reilly with a block in the right hand. O'Reilly looks like he's going up to the top rope. Tyler Breeze quickly goes to stop him. O'Reilly misses. I don't know what he was going for. Breeze tosses him into the corner. Breeze now quickly with a right hand by Breeze. Tosses O'Reilly onto the apron. Wait a minute. Springboard. Drop kick. Taking O'Reilly crashing to the outside. As now Tyler Breeze is getting comfortable and O'Reilly's in trouble, it looks like, a little bit. As the referee is counting, remember, Breezango can't win the championships via count out. And there's a shot to the back of the head. And there's the tag to Bobby Fish. Now Fish is back in the ring with Breeze and Breeze with an elbow now. And oh, he catches Fish into a sleeper. He takes him down as the sleeper hold locked in. But Fish near the ropes, forcing the referee to break the submission. Telling Tyler Breeze to let it go. And there's the tag. In comes Fidango now. Fidango has Bobby Fish by the head. Oh, drops him down. Down goes Bobby Fish. Fidango went for the stump, but Bobby Fish real quick. This takes down Fidango, and that's a shot to the back. Like we said, Breeze Angle do not want to get in to a fist fight in a striking competition with the Undisputed Era. There's a back body drop. Fandango went for a runner in Seguri, blocked by Bobby Fish. Fish now, look at this. Suplex. And there's a the right hand. And there's some strikes. And there's a kick to the knee of Fandango. Now Bobby Fish will run and to the midsection. Linus tosses Fandango up and drops him back first. Now has Fandango up. There's a right hand. Oh, that's a discus forearm. 
by Fadango. Wait a minute. Falcon Arrow! Falcon Arrow! And now wait a minute. Slams him face first into the mat. Tosses him into his corner. There's the tag. In comes Fadang. Oh, Tyler Breeze. Look at the double team. Oh, a double kick to the face as Bobby Fish was hanged up on the ropes. Fish moves now. Look at this. German suplex with a bridge to Tyler Breeze who kicks out easily at one. Bobby Fish now throws Tyler Breeze into his corner. There's the tag. In comes Kyle O'Reilly. Look at this. Look at this double team. DDT shoves him off and tosses him back. Now look at this. Look at the quickness of Kyle O'Reilly going up top. What is he going to do? Flying. Elbow drop. Is that it? One. Two. Tyler Breeze kicks out. There's the strike by Kyle Riley, but Tyler Breeze has a look. No snake eyes into the corner. There's the stump. There's a running kick to the face. There's the knee. Wait a minute. Swinging. Net breaker by Tyler Breeze. Has O'Reilly up. There's a right hand dropping O'Reilly. Roger Strong isn't happy about what he's seeing at ringside. There's a tap for Dango's back in. Dango now look at this. Suplex. Northern Lights suplex. And now into a bat breaker. To Kyle O'Reilly, and it looks like Fred Brizango is finally getting into the groove. And there's a right hand by Kyle O'Reilly, and a slap to the face, and he drops him down. And look at the strikes as Fredango is trying to block. And wait a minute, O'Reilly has Tyler Breeze suplexes him back inside the ring. Now wait a minute, he's gonna suplex Fredango. Inside the ring. As the crowd is going wild. And now uh, there's a strike by Fadugal. Women airplane spin into a tilt the world scissors. Take down. Kyle O'Reilly is down. Bobby Fish is asking for a tap. Brizango is now looking to position themselves as the new champions. As Fadango is Taking it to Kyle O'Reilly, and that's a double knees to the arm. Wait a minute, another Falcon Arrow. If three Zango could pick up this win, they will shock the world. Oh no, Fedango snaps suplex. Bobby Fish, Bobby Fish is begging Kyle O'Reilly to make the tag. And that's a spinning heel kick. Taking down O'Reilly. Is that it? One, two. O'Reilly kicks out. Pandango went for a kick. Wait a minute. Back suplex by O'Reilly. O'Reilly looked like he was trying to toss Pandango into his corner. There's the elbow, and that's a kick to the face. There's the tag. Bobby Fish is back in. Fish. Bat breaker. Fandango is crawling. It looks like he's trying to get to his corner. But Bobby Fish cuts him off. This gets forewarned by Bobby Fish. And Roger Strong is loving that. He went for a strike. No, Fandango blocks into a power bomb. To Bobby Fish. Fandango now look at this. Last dance. It's over. One. Two. No. Kyle O'Reilly breaks it up. 
Breeze ain't gonna have the titles run. And Kyler Riley just not Tyler Breeze off the apron and dives him. Tyler Breeze on the floor. Bobby Fish down and out inside the ring. It goes for Dango. He delivers the layer drop across the chest. That's it. One, two. Kyle O'Reilly breaks it out. O'Reilly now. Suplex on for Dango. Fedango's crawling, trying to get back up to his feet. As he does, and he tags in Tyler Breeze. Bobby Fisher still down and out after the lead drop across the throat. And wait a minute. Tyler Breeze tries to grab him. Bobby Fish moves out of the way. Now Tyler Breeze moves out of the way. Went for a drop kick. Fish moves out of the way. Fish tossing a note reversal by Breeze. Tosses Bobby Fish into his corner. There's a kick. And there's a sit down power bomb in the corner. And there's a right hand by Bobby Fish. Went for another distance forward. And he delivers it. Wait a minute, Tyler Breeze trips him. He was playing possum. As the crowd is just continuing to go wild. As this match continues, Bobby Fish down. Fandango going for a little like a scoop slam. Oh, there's a kick to the throat by Bobby Fish. Look at this reversal now. Fandango lands on the apron. I mean, Bobby Fish lands on the apron. Wait a minute. Look like he's going for a German suplex by Colorado on the outside, but blocked by Fandango. And there's a running kick to the face. A running knee by Bobby Fish. Fandango dazed. Fandango tossed on the apron. Fish now has him in between the ropes. This net breaker. Has him up. Wait a minute, no. Slams him face first. And then that's the spin kick. It's over now. One, two, no. O'Reilly breaks it up at the last second. Once again, Breezango looked like they were about to win the championships. Wait a minute, look at O'Reilly. He got the guillotine submission hole locked in on Fandango, but the referee is telling him to break the hole because he's not the legal man. Fish using the ropes to pull himself back up. Fish has Fandango. Like Fandango catches Fish. Last dance. That has to be it. And O'Reilly. No, and Riley is just quickly going after Fandango. He's not letting him get the cover. And now look at O'Reilly. Drops him down. O'Reilly is really trying to save those tag team titles here tonight. There's the tag. In comes Tyler Breeze. Fandango is down and out. Breeze with the spin and heel kick. But Colorado is distracting the referee. Now Breeze has Bobby Fish up. Discus forward to Bobby Fish. But Bobby Fish will spin the kick to the midsection. Catches him. Tosses Tyler Breeze into the corner. Look at the double team again. The DDT. Kick him off into the slam. And then Bobby Fish gets the tag in. And Kyle O'Reilly now 
Going for a back suplex again. No television presses into the insecurity. And there's a knee to the back. And now face first into the corner. There's the tag to Fadango. There's a kick to the midsection. Fadango going for a scoop slam. No. Kick to the back of the knee by O'Reilly. Reversal. Fly. Fadango is down and out. And there's the tag as Bobby Fish is back inside the ring. As the crowd is still going wild. And there's a spinning kick and it looks like he could have busted Fandango open. Tosses him up against the ropes and there's the huge clothesline. And the Undisputed Era is looking to end this match. I'm surprised that Breezango made it this far. Fandango tosses Bobby Fish into the corner and now tosses him into his corner. And there's a kick but no blocked elbow to the face by Bobby Fish. Reversal, flying full on by Fadango. And there's the tag. In comes Tyler Breeze. Went for it right here. No blocked by Bobby Fish. Reversal by Tyler Breeze into the corner. Now he tosses him into his corner. Went for it. Tag, no. Reversed by Bobby Fish. Now he tosses Tyler Breeze into his corner. There's the tag. Wait a minute. What's this? Wait a minute. It looks like total elimination. Annihilation. Total annihilation. That's it. One. Two is over. Tyler Breeze kicked out. How? How did Tyler Breeze kick out total annihilation? As Colorado goes to the top of elbow drop to the back. One, two, it's over. No, a kick out. By Tyler Breeze, how did he escape? Down the speed air is finisher. Look at this. O'Reilly was going for a super flying four one. By Breeze, Tyler Breeze drops the elbow on the chest. Bring supermodel kick. It's over. One. No, Bobby Fish breaks it up. Fandango's in the ring. Tosses Bobby Fish onto the apron. O'Reilly with a kick to the midsection of Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze reverses. Takes down. O'Reilly. O'Reilly now takes down on Tyler Breeze. Tosses him over. Picks him up again. Has the headlock. Drops him down on the knee. Drops the knee across the face of Tyler Breeze. Has him up. Kick to the midsection. Look at this. No, no. Pretty buster. That's it. What? Two is over. No. Fadego breaks up the count. And O'Reilly can't believe it. What is it going to take to put down Breezango as the crowd is just erupting every single time? I mean, he's going to. He's like, he's going to try to suplex him back inside the ring. And now, tosses him up against the ropes. Breeze, wait a minute, catches him. Spin a heel kick to the face. Look at this. Right between the eyes. O'Reilly could be out cold. One, two. No! Breeze, they go. They got the three. They got the three. There's the elbow drop earlier in the match that we thought ended it. There was a couple strikes traded. 
That's for Dango delivering that high leg drop. But in the end, Breezango has overcome the odds with a huge upset. And now they are leaving Bash at the Beach as the new WCW Tag Team Champion. And I can't believe it. The Undisputed Era is in shock. The Cinderella story continues, it looks like. 